what's up guys it's Drax here today I'm going to be bringing you guys another short video today I'm going to show you guys on how to make this green UFO boxer short outfit so the outfit you see in the thumbnail so I will just get back to you whenever I do make it to a clothing store for this outfit whenever you do make it to a clothing store you're just going to want to walk over here to the top section scroll down until you find t-shirts which will be on slot 23 and then you're just going to want to put on no top which is on slot one after you have put on no top you can now just back up t-shirts Scroll down to the bottom, which will be on slot 53, and look for the utility vest. Click on utility vest, and you're going to equip the peach plate carrier, which will be on slot 43. After you have equipped the peach plate carrier, you can now just go ahead and back into the top section. I'm just going to go ahead and take off the parachute real quick, and also I'm going to take off my helmet and the IAA badge, and I will show you guys on how to get all of those later. Now we're going to walk over here to the pants section, and to be able to get the UFO boxer shorts, the white and the green, I will show you guys all the UFO locations and all the UFOs spawn between 22 o'clock in GTA and it ends normally around 4 or 5 o'clock GTA time. So whenever those do spawn, you're then just going to want to get abducted by a UFO and I will show you guys what it looks like right now. But after you've got abducted by a UFO and you do get back to the clothing store, you're then just going to want to walk over here to the pants section, go to shorts, which will be on slot three, and equip the green UFO boxer shorts on slot two. And after you do that, you can then just back out of the pants section, walk over here to your accessories, go to gloves, which will be on slot seven, and just put on no gloves on slot one. Whenever you have done that, walk over here to your shoe section, click on any selections of shoes that doesn't matter and put on no shoes which will also be on slot one now that you care now that your character has no shoes and no gloves if your character has any head accessories go ahead and take that off and this is what your outfit should look like so far after your outfit does look like this walk up here to the front counter hit edit saved outfits and if you are doing the heist apartment merge you can save the outfit on any slot that you want but if you are doing it's a g thing which i will leave a link in the description so then you guys can bookmark that job if you are doing it's a g thing save the outfit on slot one or slot 20 and it's just like crooked cop but after you have saved the outfit back out of edit saved outfits scroll down through the clothing until you find heist coveralls on slot 13 and scroll down from slot 9 through slot 12 and just equip one of these outfits with a toxic mask once you have done this back out of the front counter and we're going to head over here to the pier to do the telescope glitch when you do find a telescope on the pier all you want to do is the telescope glitch so go and run past telescope like this hit right on the d-pad you'll see that your character runs in place then looks towards the telescope that's how you know you're glitched all you want to do now is just pull up your interaction menu go to style go to your outfits and equip the outfit you just saved with the peach plate carrier and the green ufo boxer shorts now that your outfit looks like this just put away your interaction menu by way out of the telescope and you should see that the mask does merge over to the outfit just like this and once your outfit looks like this you're now just going to want to go over here to the gun store once you are at a gun store just walk over here to the top section you're then just going to want to hit edit saved outfits and save the outfit on whichever slot you did before after you do save the outfit back out of the tops and now we're going to go ahead and start up a job so just hit pause go to online go to jobs go to play job go to rockstar created go to missions look for the job that's called a titan of a job and just fully start up that mission now that you have loaded into the mission you should see that your character is not wearing the utility vest anymore so now that your outfit looks like this just walk back over here to the tops hit edit saved outfits and save the outfit on whichever slot you did before once again after you do save the outfit back out of the tops pull up your phone and just quit the job from your phone when you do load back into a public session all you want to do is run back and run back inside the gun store walk over here to the right side where it says outfits go to diamond casino heist which will be on slot 50 and you're going to look for the group a sex gear which is on slot 20 and just equip one of these outfits with this type of belt so they all have this type of belt on this outfit 
so it doesn't really matter. But after you do equip one of these outfits with this type of belt, you can now just back out of the outfits. And now I will leave a link in the description, like I said earlier, so then you guys can bookmark the job called It's a G Thing. After you do bookmark the job, you can then just start it up and it's just like Crooked Cop. But for me, I'm gonna do the Heist Apartment merge, so I will get back to you when I do get to my apartment. Okay guys, whenever you do make it to your apartment, you're then just gonna wanna go into the Heist Planning Board room and walk up here to the Heist Planning Board. And out of all the five heists, you're gonna wanna start the first one, that's called the Fleek Job. After you start the Fleek Job, the first job that's gonna have you do, it's gonna be called Scope Out. Once you have completed the scope out mission, the second job it's going to have you do, it's going to be called Kuruma. So whenever you have the Kuruma job available, you can then just launch that mission. After you have loaded into the Kuruma job, set your heist clothing to player saved outfits. Once you have set your, your heist clothing to player saved outfits, you can then confirm your settings and then invite whoever you want, like a friend or a random. And once someone does join, then you can just launch the job. When it does show your owned outfits, go ahead and scroll to the slot to wherever you did save it. This is what your outfit should look like. Once your outfit looks like this, then just hit ready to play. Now that you have fully loaded into the job, all you need to do now is pull up your phone and just quit the job from your phone. When you are back in a public session, you're then just going to want to find a vehicle. It doesn't matter if it's your personal vehicle or a random civilian car on the street. But once you do find a car, go ahead and get inside that car. You're now going to want to register as a CEO or an MC, so just pull up your interaction menu. Click on Secure Serve or Motorcycle Club, and then you guys will see that you have registered. And pull up your interaction menu up again. Click on Secure Serve CEO or Motorcycle Club, then go to Management, then go to Style, and on your CEO style or MC style, scroll one time to the left, and then one time to the right back to None. Now hop out of the car, and you will see that the belt does merge over to the outfit, just like this. Now we're gonna get the IAA badge, but before we go over there, you're gonna to wanna to first save the outfit. So I'm gonna go ahead and save the outfit, but I'm gonna probably cut that part of the video, but I will get back to you whenever I do get to the UL paper mission to get the IAA badge. We're now gonna go ahead and get the IAA badge. So all you need to do is head over here to the UL paper mission. So once you are here, right next to the IAA building, you're now gonna to wanna to need a vehicle. After you do grab a vehicle, you're then just going to want to go ahead and hit pause, go to online, go to playlist, go to click on create, and you're going to go to add a parachute jump. You guys can probably add any job that you want, but I'm just going to do add parachute jump because I know that one works for me. And then all you want to do is click on a ridge too far, and then you should see that it does add to your playlist. Now, once the job does add to your playlist, go ahead and back out, scroll down to save playlist, and you guys can name it whatever you want. I'm just going to name it IAA since we're getting the badge. Now, once you did fully save it, you're now going to want to go ahead and back out of the pause menu, get in the car that you do have, and hover over or drive over the yellow circle just like this, so that this is how your car should be. Now, all you want to do is just hit pause once again, go to online, go to playlist, click on my playlist, now click on the job you just saved, and then it's going to say, are you sure you want to start this playlist? Now, make sure your car is over the yellow circle, so then you guys hit the glitch. But whenever you guys are over the yellow circle and you guys are in your playlist and you're about to start it, once you do hit OK, you're going to want to start spamming right on the D-pad as fast as you can until you do join the job. So I'm just going to hit OK. Now I'm going to start spamming right on the D-pad until I do fully join the job. When you fully join the job, this is what the job should say, UL Paper Intelligence, and this is what it should look like. Now, you don't have to change anything, just confirm the settings and launch the job. After you do launch the job, your background should be of an eagle in the IAA building, so just like this. If you have a totally different, if you have a totally different background, then you will need to go ahead and back out and drive your car over the yellow circle and just do the playlist job over once again and until you do get this background with the eagle in the IAA building. Once you have this and it shows your personal outfit that should look like this, you can then just hit ready to play and launch the job. After the cutscene does end and you guys load out of the building, you should see that your character is wearing the badge with your outfit. So once your outfit does look like this, go ahead and hit pause and look for your apartment on the map. You guys obviously can't see it, but you're just going to have to go to your apartment and remember where it's at. So I will get back to you once I do get to my apartment and just walk inside. After you do make it to your apartment, you're then just going to want to go ahead and go into the changing clothes area. Then just hit right on the D-pad to enter until it does show your clothing. Now just hit edit saved outfits and save the outfit on whichever slot you want. 
After you do save the outfit, you can then just back out of the change in clothes area. And all you need to do now is just pull up your phone and leave the job from your phone. Once you are back in a session, you should see that your outfit looks like this without the badge. All you need to do is pull up your interaction menu, go to style, go to your outfits and equip the outfit you just saved earlier whenever you were in the job. And you should see that the IAA badge is now on your outfit. So once your outfit looks like now we're gonna head to the clothing store to finish the rest of the outfit. Whenever you do make it to a clothing store, you're just gonna wanna head over here to the hats, go to helmets on slot 16, and look for the gray opened face helmet on slot 76. After you do buy the gray opened face helmet, you can then just back out of helmets, scroll down to combat helmets on slot 22, and look for the zebra quad lens on slot 24. After you do equip the zebra quad lens, you can then just go ahead and back out of the hats. If your thermal does come on, just pull up your interaction menu, go to style, go to your accessories, go to helmets, and just deactivate the thermal. Now that you have done that, back out of your accessories, scroll down to bike helmets, and you're gonna scroll through your bike helmet until you do find the gray open face helmet, which will be like this. After you do find the gray open face helmet, back out of style, and now you're gonna to wanna to register as a CEO. After you have registered as a CEO, pull up your interaction menu up again, hover over style. Now you're just gonna to wanna to get in a car. Once you do get inside of a car, scroll up to secure serve CEO, click on secure serve CEO, go to management, go to style, and on your CEO style, scroll one time to the right and then scroll one time to the left back to none, you'll see that the thermal quad lens is back on your character. Now just hop out of the car, put away your interaction menu, hold right on your D-pad, and you will see that your quad lens do turn green just like this. Now if you guys want the visors to go down, hold right on your D-pad again, just like that, and your visors will go down just like this. Now we're the final part of this outfit, it's gonna be the black combat shoe bag. So all you need to do for this is pull up your interaction menu again, Go to style, go to your parachute, set your parachute to on, and have it set to the black combat shoe bag. If you don't have the black combat shoe bag, then you're just gonna wanna go to a gun store, go up to the front counter, go to parachute, go to parachute bags, and look for the black combat shoe bag. After you do buy the black combat shoe bag, you can then just back out of the front counter, then it's gonna disappear off your character. Just pull up your interaction menu, go to style, go to your parachute, set it to on, and it should be already set to the black combat shoe bag. And this is what your outfit will look like whenever you're done. So this is what it does look like in the pause menu, just letting you know. This is a pretty nice outfit. So I hope you guys do like this outfit. Now all you need to do is walk up here to the front counter, hit edit saved outfits, and save the outfit on whichever slot you want. And that's pretty much it after you do save it. So I hope you guys do enjoy this sick alien outfit. You guys will be able to only get these UFO boxers within this Thursday. So that's the end time for you to be able to get these. So I would hurry up and try to get these as fast as you can. But yeah, I hope you guys do enjoy. Please like, subscribe. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.